Well, 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 Paul. Oh, everyone's been looking for us. A I've never happened. been this. It's A like, what's happened? Don't you feel like Jason Bourne? <laughs> everyone's looking for you. Bro, I feel uh, like Jason Bourne every day. <laughs> Hashtag Sports is proud to partner with Mr. Rogers Homes. Sean Rogers is a proud Western New Yorker and is now your Arizona relocation specialist. You can see his reviews as a top 1% agent on Zillow, Homes, and Trulia.com. Go ahead and download his free Arizona relocation guide found in the description of this video. Subscribe to his YouTube channel and, as Sean would say, God bless America and go Bills. <laughs> Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another episode of Hashtag Sports. Uh, you know, everything that for... That you needs in the description. We've talked about that multiple times. I just want to get into the episode, Paul. I don't even want to do the Let's preliminaries. I don't go. even want to do this stuff. Uh, a lot has been going on with the Buffalo Bills. They signed a few players recently uh, during free agency, which broke on Wednesday. News flash. Um, Not sure if everybody heard. <laughs> Not sure. <laughs> but here's the deal. And here's the thing that Paul and I were talking about. It's like, okay, we finally realized over this free agency period, what our niche is or niche, or what do you call it? I don't even know, Paul. I don't even You're know a math teacher. Them. Just move on. I'll move on. But the point <laughs> is, that it seems like a lot of times, and we've been told this by uh, the hashtag nation, everyone celebrates certain things and then we hit them with the smelling salts. It's, yeah. it's not so much that we're downers or we're trying, we always try to take, like we said, the most objective approach possible and what's going on. Right. Um, Von Miller coming to the Bills signals a lot of different things. There's a lot of under underlying currents and mis and messages that go on with Von Miller coming to the Bills. Mm -hmm. His contract, however, now whether you want to say it's two for 32, it's going to be three for 51 or all this other stuff. And some people even likened it to the Mario Williams deal, which we're going to get into in a little bit. The impact of this contract on the current players that you may want to re-sign is where we're going to probably gain some enemies today. Yeah. When we talk about. Oh this. yeah, yeah, it's a big deal. You know, it this is. is a huge contract, and and I think it's always important. And and Mar Mar brought up and started the episode with something that I think is really really important, right? So we sometimes will take the approach of talking things that are a little uncomfortable, and just to give information. Eh, that's that's what it is. That's all it is. Is just here's something that is possible, right? And with a big deal like the Von Miller deal. Um, it has downstream impact, right? Like every single day you get closer to Josh Allen being more expensive. And now this contract and that contract are running parallel, right? So what happens when you got those big deals running next to each other? You run into, you know, you run into the possibility that a player like Ed Oliver, you're not going to be able to resign him. A player like Tremaine Edmonds, you're not going to be able to resign him. Uh, you know, you're looking at Hyde and Poyer. And, you know, at the, you're probably close to life cycling those two players at this point, because as they get older, you're going to struggle to, you know, you're going to you're going to struggle uh, to be able to play and pay players like that. And you're going to start looking for younger talent just because you have to. This is what uh, franchise level players can do for your team is they can give you those those cornerstones. The, the downside is they're expensive. And you have to make compromises other places, but this is, these are the consequences of big contracts. You know, at some point you, there's just, there's just no money to go around. It is, it is tough because, you know, Paul and I had talked about it obviously since, you know, a lot of you guys were like, where are you guys? All this news is breaking. Where are you guys? Well, you know, we like to wrap our head around it, not really be too reactionary to certain things, mm -hmm. but Paul had brought up one very poignant thing. And he even said it, this contract bleeds into oliver and edmonds mm -hmm. now yeah. you gotta make a choice and hashtag nation if you want in the comment section i know it's going to be a bloodbath if you had to make a choice today of who you're re-signing is it at oliver or is it tremaine edison because i don't think you're getting both of them with the contract you just gave to von miller you're not right. doing that and right. with the way that the Buffalo Bills happen to cycle out these defensive tackle positions, which we're going to get into in, a, in another episode. Is it Oliver or is it Edmonds? What do you, you know, you're, first of all, you're taking a typical three, four outside linebacker. And you're putting them into a four, three. Mm -hmm. Now the bills have, 
it, pl- it played both. Like they do a mixture of a bunch of different things now on their defense. Right, but it's not like Von Miller was dropping into pass coverage the last two seasons. You know, no, they, no, they, no. They know the old man's just got to go forward. Now. <laughs> the that's old man it. at the thirty-three. Go yes. Uh, yeah, it's really that's really what he's going to be designed to do. And uh, you know, smart on Von Miller's part, coming to a team that cycles their defensive line as much as they do. Mm-hmm. He may be a little bit north in age, but you realize he can extend his career maybe two or three more years playing with the Bills, playing with a contender. I mean, how many times can you get that opportunity? Mm-hmm. And he's not getting chump change. Let's just let's just put it that yeah. way. He's not getting chump change. So yeah. good on Von Miller's part to go to a contender that we will be able to extend his career even more because of how they cycle that position out. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, game by yeah, game. Yeah, and that's a great point. You know, and a lot of people yeah. say – uh, well, I heard somebody uh, comment on Twitter. God, I can't believe I'm going to quote a comment on Twitter about this. Oh. But said, I didn't even know Von Miller was still in the league until uh, he went to the Rams. And listen, Von Miller was still playing like 80% of snaps and plays 80% <laughs> of snaps every yeah. year, right? You're going to see Von Miller now probably closer to that 60%, closer to Jerry Hughes type numbers. I, I think this is... Uh, I think this is a smart move for the development of your young players because they had Mario Addison and they had Jerry Hughes. And then you look at it and say, listen, we still need a veteran presence at some level. So you go out and you get Von Miller to help Rousseau <laughs> and Basham. And I, and I guess Epineza, right? Like, great. What do you like? That's how, that, what a resource to your young players to not only walk in the league, but to have Jerry and Mario here. And then the next year you go out and get Von Miller. And it's not to take playing time away from them because you're right. It's, it, it's a rotation. This is what they do. Mm-hmm. Von Miller's going to step in, play 59% of snaps this season and be an absolute game wrecker when he's in there. An yeah. absolute game wrecker. It's going to be, it's going to be great. You're going to see an unleashed Von Miller because he's going to be playing 200 less snaps, which means that he's got, you know, they're going to be opportunistic with him. And, uh, and that's exciting, man. That's exciting. Uh, you know, a couple of days after the signing, Paul, I was still like, did, did the bills really just signed Von Miller? Like, I know, you know, he's going to be turning 33. Mm-hmm. Uh, a lot of people initially compared the contract to Mario Williams. And this is the thing where yeah. I want to, I want to get into it and, and we're going to be a little bit numbered nerds right now, guys. So if you, you just, just watch, it'll be fun. <laughs> That's what we do here. That's what we do. Yeah, that's true. Von Miller signs a, you know, signs his deal six years, $120 million, Mm -hmm. 51 guaranteed. So around 17, five a year, basically when you break it down, like I said before, people are talking about, it might be two for 31. It might be three for 51, uh, 51 or 32, whatever. The point is people weren't liking it to the Mario Williams deal. Now the Mario Williams deal was a six year deal, a hundred million dollars, $50 million guaranteed. Uh, he ended up playing four years of that deal for 67.4. So if you said at the beginning of that deal, they signed Mario Williams to a four-year $67 million deal at that time, which was a huge deal at the time, still affordable, still a very affordable deal. Mm-hmm. Two things to take into consideration with the Mario Williams deal. He was signed at 27. Mm-hmm. So he played from 27 to 30 with the Buffalo Bills. Right. Paul? Brought it to my attention. <laughs> Von Miller signed his deal. The current cap is two hundred eight million dollars. Correct. Mm-hmm. Yep. Paul, what was the cap when Mario Williams signed for a hundred million dollars? It's a different world, Mar. <laughs> it was a different world back in twenty twelve. Yeah, in twenty twelve, the salary cap was a hundred and twenty million dollars, one hundred twenty point six. So again, like you know, and I don't blame folks for saying. And making the comparison to Mario Williams, the numbers are there, right? The numbers are yeah. similar, um, you know, at, uh, from a contract level, like at a face value level. Uh, you look at the fact that it is a top available defensive end in the league, and the comparisons are there, right? As Mario yeah. Williams was the top player in free agency that year, right? Like it's that the, I get the comparison, yeah. But Mario Williams was was taking up double the cap space that Von Miller is going to take up. <laughs> Yes. You know, like like double the cap space. It was crazy. Yes. It was crazy. And that's why, like, you look at the comparisons and from a contract level, I know the numbers sound similar, but they're not. Like the cap was almost half what it what it, you know, the cap right now versus then. It's almost half. 
Come on. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So, <laughs> well, it's about 120 million. It's fine. It's fine. I just thought that that was utterly amazing. That that was the first thought that yeah. came to your mind. You're like, when did he get signed? And I go, 2012. He goes, Paul literally said to me, what was the cap? Like 120? And I looked it up and it literally was 120. I'm like, yeah, how do you remember 6. these things? Do can't remember my birthday, but remembers what the cap was in 2012. Uh, for the record, <laughs> for the record, he does remember. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> it's, here's the deal. Here's the here's the secret sauce. Right to that. Real quick break from this. If you if you struggle to remember your wedding anniversary, frame your wedding invitation in your house because you can just walk in a hallway. You go down all the time. Your wife will think it's adorable. She'll love you forever. And every time you walk into like the bedroom, you just look up, you go, nope, not tomorrow. Okay. And you just keep going. <laughs> That's it. It's easy. With Mario, it gets to be like springtime, you know, and I'm like, ah. so I'll go into our Facebook messenger and I just search the word birthday. Boom. He's such a cheater. He's because I've, for... I've wished him happy birthday before, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna use my resources. <laughs> happy birthday, brother! Welcome to Paul's TED Talk. <laughs> <laughs> Do I look like a happy man? I'm a happy man, but I have yeah. systems in place to make sure that that I I don't have my pants down in public like that. That people around know? him are happy as well. That's it. That's it. But you know, it's interesting, Mark, when you think about it, right? Because the Von Miller deal. The Von Miller deal in six years is the entire salary cap from 2012, right? <laughs> you look at, it's the entire salary cap. So that's why when you look at the numbers, and, and again, I get it, but it, I think there's probably a feel because isn't it so different now than it was then? Like back then, Mario Williams signed in Buffalo and that just didn't happen. Buffalo was not supposed to be competitive in the free agent market. Nobody yeah. wanted to come to Buffalo was the stigma. And then you look at Von Miller and, and Buffalo probably was Von Miller's first choice because he's yes. looking at a team that's going to win and going to win often. And then you take a look at teams around the league and you go, I don't know how many of those there are. You look at Arizona and, you know, Arizona, while having that team that they had, they looked awful in the playoffs. Um, yeah. You know, you yeah. look at you look at Cincy, Cincinnati makes sense. Right. But uh, and Cincinnati's got money. So Cincinnati makes sense. Um, but outside of like some f maybe four teams, the rest of the league is really in peril. Like there's some teams yes. that, are, that look like they could win, but aren't winners. Buffalo is a winner in the NFL. And I, I, that's so exciting to look at how Von Miller said, yeah, Buffalo is where I want to be because I know for the next four years, we're going to beat everybody's ass. You look at the division and you go, that I, I, I want to be there. Surprised you didn't there. go to the West. Go back to the West again. Since what, everybody's, NFC West? Everybody and their mother went to the West. That's one reason to get the hell out of there, don't you think? <laughs> you know, it's is that yeah. one of those situations where we look around like, oh, man, it got crowded in here. Uh, <laughs> woo! The West is, it's like, you could have the West. Like, the, the Pro Bowl this year is going to be the West versus everybody. Yeah. yeah <laughs> That's what I would much. play. Pretty much. Um, no, but like in, in, in breaking it down, and we talked about it before, I really want to pose this question to the hashtag nation. If you had to, I mean, because this this is what impacts the other players around it, this deal, yeah. even even if it's a two for 31 or if, it, if it's a three for, you know, 52 or 53, like people mm -hmm. talked about it. Which players do you think that this impacts the most on the Buffalo Bills? Yeah. Right now, Von Miller's deal. Although it's awesome, Von Miller coming, he said he wants to come to the Buffalo. He wants to help win a championship here. He's going to separate himself as far as edge rushers go, playing for three different teams, winning three different rings if the if the Bills win it. That would separate him and put him in a category all by himself. And I Absolutely. think he thought about that as well. Sure. But which players do you think that this most readily impacts? That's question one. Question two is, if you had to make a choice today, hashtag nation, do they get rid of Oliver or do they get rid of Edmonds due to this deal? Yeah, it's not it's not that they need to today. So let's be clear, right? They don't yeah, need to do this yeah. today, but we're talking about expiring contracts. 2023. Yeah, you got limited be... options of those guys. So I'm curious to see what, what the hashtag nation comes up with on that one. So yeah. make sure you hit especially, that like button, that subscribe button too, guys. Especially yeah. with the draft coming up. And you know, make sure you join our Patreon for seven dollars and sixteen cents a month. And we obviously want to thank uh Sean and Mr. Rogers Holmes for sponsoring this episode and every episode during the offseason. Sean's phenomenal. I'm gonna I'm actually gonna go to Sean and be like, Hey Sean, 
grab your phone. Go go cut some like old wrestling type promos in your car. <laughs> It'd be so much fun. Oh yeah. Oh my we'll god. Them, Can you imagine we'll... editing those promos? Oh my god, it'd be so much fun. I have get a Ric Flair know. woo. <laughs> woo! <laughs> woo! Four right. red two bath. Woo! God, it'd be I'm hysterical. Done it'd be hysterical Ugh. man buffalo bills the buffalo bills signed von miller we're gonna see a defensive end here in 40 mario yes we are wreaking havoc on sundays the new nfl man it's a new nfl <laughs>